Hey loves, Jay here with your mid-February reading for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, or if you have Taurus anywhere in your chart, cross watchers are also welcome. Keep in mind that this is general, so it's not going to resonate with every Taurus out there. You can take the parts that do resonate, apply it to your life however it fits, leave the rest for someone else. Your spirit message, I'm feeling something taking your breath away. I don't know if it's because it's so beautiful and, you know, lovely and it changes your life or if this is a health issue for you, okay? So I don't know how that's going to show up for you, but something is taking your, is going to or has taken your breath away, okay? So we're going to hop into your reading and we're going to pull three cards and we're going to clarify each of those cards here for you. Your current energy here, Taurus, is the page of earth, which is your energy. Your advice for this month is the release, letting something go here, okay, which is like the death card, releasing, actually it is, um, it could be the temperance energy here, we'll see, I don't know which one this is, oh, it's the death card, it's number 13. And then your final outcome is the eight of air, Aries, I mean Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy is here, we have Scorpio as well as your energy on the table. So let's see what's coming up in your current energy here. Hearing to be patient. Hearing to be patient with this page of earth energy. So this may be an opportunity for something new that comes into your life. There may be some good news on the horizon for you, especially when it comes to a career or your finances. Some of you are wanting to um, do something more outside of your comfort zone, something that feels a little bit more challenging because it makes me feel like you've been doing the same thing and you want a little bit of a change, a new opportunity for something. Um, so you may be thinking of going back to school or studying something, looking into another industry, looking into another field or something. You want to change. And I feel like this change is in divine order for you because it feels like it feels like spirit has spoken to you. There's something that has overcome you that wants a change. And for some of you, this could be a change that shows up in a relationship as well. You want to change in your money, changing career, changing things up on a project, changing your business model. So this can show up in uh, various ways here. But let's pull some cards to see what's coming up for you here, Taurus, uh, with this new opportunity and good news on the horizon for you. This could be someone coming in helping you with something, a business model or proposal, offering you, offering you some sort of help. We have the Ten of Pentacles is coming up for you. All right, so let's see what's coming up from this card. So someone is helping with family, a family matter, okay? So this could be a professional, someone that could be coming in to help you either create a legacy or help you through some troubled issues in a relationship and here, even in a marriage. I'm also hearing some of you are need, may be needing help with a parent, an ailing parent, a grandparent, needing help, physical help with someone that you may be caring for and maybe you just don't have the time um, for it anymore um, and and you're may, maybe looking for new opportunities to make more money so that you can provide your parent or someone, your children, with better care or a better education. So that can show up in many ways for you. But something is definitely flourishing for you. It feels good. So, you know, could it be that this whatever is taking your breath away is this new journey that you're on and I'm feeling this vibrancy that's coming from you, a happiness. And I'm also hearing from some of you, I never thought that this can happen for me, but it's happening. It's happening, Taurus. So this is great. So I feel like you're going to be building legacy and money for your family. As some of you have invested so I'm, I'm also hearing that some of those of you, there may be some of you, not a lot of you, that may have invested and it's almost like your money has doubled or tripled in some sort of way. Could it be that you've hit the lottery or something or you, you know, your stocks are doing well, but there's something and maybe this is, this could even be an inheritance as well, okay, because I feel like this page of earth is someone that comes in and I do feel like they're a very professional person. They're, they're very knowledgeable in their field and they're helping you in some sort of way. 
very interesting. This could even be a financial profession, professional coming in, a, um, a financial planner to help you plan out things and putting your money here and over there. You Maybe you want to put your money into um, an IUL, um, which is an index universal life policy. It's like a retirement plan. It's like a policy as well as um, a life insurance policy as well as a savings at the same time. So I definitely feel like you're doubling your money. Interesting. <coughs> hmm, interesting. Clearing your throat. So there's something you may need to say, something you may need to talk about. Maybe some of you are stepping into a new platform where you're helping people financially because it definitely feels like financially or you're helping someone in the healthcare industry. But I do feel like it's you sharing or someone is sharing advice with you or you're learning something new. I do feel like you're in that place right now where you're either sharing knowledge, gaining knowledge, or whatever it is that you're learning, you're sharing it with other people. Ace of Swords. Love it. Love it. So this is a breakthrough for some of you. So I do feel like you're clearing your mind. I feel like you're in this place of mental clarity and you have a clear vision about where you want to go. And I do feel like you're sharing, which is why I'm clearing right? Clearing the throat. So I do feel like you're sharing something here, Taurus, which is amazing. So some of you could just be sharing your feelings, your thoughts, your visions. Some of you are sharing your goals and some of you are sharing knowledge. So you're sharing what you have learned because the page of earth is a scholarly individual. So it makes me feel like either you've gone to school for something or you've done a lot of research and you've become an, an expert on something and so now you're able to share that I'm also getting a relocation so there could be an opportunity for remote work for you or you uh, telecommute um, traveling somewhere for work so maybe this is remote work where you could do this work anywhere in the world so there's an opportunity that is coming up for you that's going to change your life financially okay and I feel I feel very passionate about it I feel excited about it too because I feel like I feel your excitement like this is a new opportunity like yes I've, I finally got it I finally figured it out and this is the reason why some of you are thinking I never thought that this can happen for me but it's happening so some of you are in this energy or you you're moving into this energy here so that's what I'm feeling for you currently let's get some advice for you something that you need to let go of so an end of a phase or a situation I'm hearing some of you have had some health issues, had health scares. You have also had financial issues, blocks, emotional blocks that have come up. You've had issues in your relationships. And I feel like you're letting go of this. It's, it's an end of a phase or a situation that you have been experiencing. And this is a transformation for you. So this release also, like I said, it also reminds me of like the tower, like where you, some of you have just gone through tower moments of health issues and things come, have come crumbling down and you've had to rebuild. And I feel like in this almost like a near death experience, so to speak, that you come out on the other side of this. Okay, so you come out with a fresh perspective. That's why this page of earth energy is here. If you recreating and structuring something in your life that's going to take you and your family very far and some of you very far away from things that you need to let go of. So that's why I feel like there could be a relocation that could be coming up for you. You're moving away from things and people that just are not aligning with you anymore. And it's not that you're running away from it. It's just that you're moving into a new energy. You're creating like you're in a different element. You're a different phase and level in your life. And you want to be surrounded by like-minded people. So you're going to have to let things go for sure. Time for you to move on from something um, here. So let's, let's see what's coming up for you. Why is the release card here? We have the Prince of Wands that is coming out. I'm hearing run away really fast. Something that you, I, I, with this Prince of Wands, I feel like it's something that you were once really, really passionate about. You're just letting that go. 
or something that you have been very passionate about and you were scared, you, there was a fear around creating it, that you're now moving into that energy. So you're letting go of the fear and emotions and the self-talk, the, the, the feelings of lack and limitation and scarcity. You're letting that go so that you can now move into this energy. I do feel like there is an excitement and enthusiasm, an enthusiasm about life here, which I, lo I love this energy because some of you have been feeling down and out and exhausting all of your energy in things and people, places where it just didn't serve you anymore. So I do feel like there's a fearlessness that's coming up for you and you're in this place of thinking of taking a risk. Some of you were limiting yourself and this is why I feel like this death card, the release card is here saying it's time to let go of that fear-based energy that you've been holding on because it has been causing health issues for some of you. It has manifested into other things because you've been holding on to it and it's definitely time for you to let it go. Free will, I'm, I'm feeling from this as well. This is also reminding me as I'm looking at him, it's almost like the full card. So it makes me feel like this is a new start, a new journey for you guys. And you're just taking a leap of faith into something. And some of you don't even know where you're going, but you're trusting the process because you're going with your gut feeling. Some of you don't know the steps to get there. And Spirit is saying you don't have to know the steps. You don't have to know the steps to get there, but you do have to take the leap. You have to take, you have to have the trust and the faith that Spirit is leading you in the right direction. So as long as you are listening to your intuition, you're going to be guided accordingly. Wow. <laughs> the fool. I just said this reminded me of the fool and look how they're both they're both jumping off of the cliff. They're going to they're not even looking. They're just going. They're trusting that whatever I'm guided, I'm going to trust that this is a new journey, a new opportunity for me. And it looks like the fool card. Look how the dog is pushing up against his leg. Dog is the closest thing to God. It's like spirit pushing you off the ledge outside of your comfort zone here. So what are you going to do with that? I love this energy. It's so spiritual. It's, it's deeply spiritual energy here that you are in a place of trusting that things are going to align the way that they should and that the things that you have been fearing you are deserving of here, Taurus. King of Cups energy, making sure that you stay, I'm hearing, elevated. Yeah, keeping your spirit elevated. Don't let things and people pull you down because they that does that does not work for where you're going here. Also, be in this energy of the King of Cups where you're keeping an open mind. And I do feel like you may be surrounding yourself with people who are in this king like energy, maybe a person or multiple people who are open minded, free flowing and spirited, because you are an earth sign and sometimes you tend to be like, I have to plan things out. And how much is it going to cost? And what steps do we need to take before we can do step one? Like, <laughs> I feel like embodying this King of Cups or embodying someone that you're dealing with, learning to be more free spirited and just trusting that everything is going to work out. You see how confident he is? He already knows. He's taking the step. He's leaping into this, right? He's leaping into this and he's like, oh, yeah, it's going to work. I don't have a doubt in my mind. I don't have a doubt in my mind because he's very intuitive. He's very intuitive. He has a very strong knowing. He is very balanced. He also has emotional control, which means that if it doesn't, if it doesn't look the way that he thought it was going to be, he's going to continue to remain open and know that spirit is going to provide another way. So that's what that feels like. So being open, doing your work, trusting in the process. It sounds easy to me, but not easy for you. I know it's easier said than done, but I'm a, I'm a person who lives by trust and faith because I am a very, very spiritual person and I've done my work. So I trust. I have strong faith. I trust really hard, even though it wavers sometimes. But I'm also a Pisces and that's what this King of Cups is, that Pisces energy here. But this definitely feels like you are needing to get in a place of trust and faith. So what can you do for yourself that's going to build your trust? 
some for some of you that's meditation that's going to be praying more that's going to be trusting the process that's going to be understanding that the things that are occurring in your life are for your highest good everything is in divine order even if it feels challenging in the moment it's getting you to a higher purpose so that is your advice for the month your final outcome here Taurus is the eight of air so this is moments of you getting in your head again, okay? <laughs> thinking that things are not going to work out or thinking that you are going to have to step in and intervene, that you're going to have to intervene in something to make it work. When this, this process right now that some of you are in, it's all about trust and faith. It's not about you trying to intervene and make it happen because, yeah, I've done it before. But there's a different way to do things. There's many different ways to do things. And for some of you, your way hasn't always worked. And so Spirit is asking you to trust. So this could be a this could be you feeling trapped in not trusting the process. This could be you lacking confidence within yourself or within someone who may be assisting you because you want things done a certain way. I'm hearing to like fall back. I'm hearing to fall back, okay? So some of you may be afraid that that fear kicks in and you're afraid to take action because you don't know the steps and you don't know the outcome. But this is where faith and trust comes into play. When you trust and you have faith, you don't know the outcome. It's believing is seeing. If you believe it, you will see it. OK, so you have been operating in a place of seeing is believing that you have to see it in order to believe it. But there are so many things that are happening behind the scenes for you here, Taurus, that you're going to have to believe in order to see it. Why is this eight of air here? The strength card, trust, trust. Trust in this process. Everything's going to unfold the way that it's supposed to unfold. Let go of the fear. Let go of the fear and, and, and let spirit lead you. Let spirit lead you through whatever this journey, whatever this new path is that you're experiencing. Four of Cups. But some of you are so focused on what you need to do and how you need to do it to get to an outcome that you're missing the picture. You're missing the whole thing. So some of you may be in that place where that self-imposed energy with that eight of air, which also is self-destruction, sabotage, and feeling trapped, that energy kicks in again because you're in the process of learning to trust the process, the star. Everything is going to be working out in your favor. This is a phase of renewal. This is a phase of being open. This is a phase of you exposing who you really are, who you want to become, um, which is a beautiful thing that you're exploring that energy right now. But this is also you needing to find a peace of mind. It's not about the actions or the situations, but connecting to the part of you that's hopeful, serene, that has faith, that knows your purpose that is connected to that spirituality that you're in this place of rebuilding yourself. You're rebuilding. So no, don't let that eight of air, I look at this eight of air compared to, this eight of air compared to the star energy. Can't even compete. Can't even compete. It shouldn't because we're talking about logic versus spiritual connection. Spiritual connection. Remember, you're a human being with thoughts, but you're a human. You're a spiritual being just having the human experience, which is a temporary moment of being in your head. But you know who you are as long as you do your work with that star energy here. So that's your final outcome is exploring a lot of beautiful aspects about yourself, trusting in the process, letting go of fear, letting go of the self-doubt and the talk that you have been you know, sort of in for a very long time. And some of you have come out on the other end because something has happened to you where you felt like you, it was time for you to transform. That's why that release card is here because you're transforming. Okay. So that is your reading, Taurus. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Enjoy the month of February. Love you guys. I will see you guys for March. Many blessings. Love and light. Peace.